Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. Hi, everyone. I'm Yesenia from SpanishPod101.com. In this video, we'll be talking about top 10 phrases to know when having a baby. Let's begin. Amamantar. To breastfeed. Amamantar. To breastfeed. Si no puedes amamantar, usa formula. If you can't breastfeed, use formula. Yes, because the baby has to eat. Cambiar un pañal. To change a diaper. Cambiar un pañal. To change a diaper. Es tu turno de cambiar el pañal. It is your turn to change the diaper. That's probably the least favorite thing to do, right, when you have a baby? Poner un babero. To put on a bib. Poner un babero. To put on a bib. Ponle un babero para que no se ensucie. Put a bib on the baby so that he doesn't get dirty. Cambiar la ropa. To change clothes. Cambiar la ropa. To change clothes. Ayúdale a tu hermano a cambiar su ropa. Help your brother change his clothes. Cantar una canción de cuna. To sing a lullaby. Cantar una canción de cuna. To sing a lullaby. Te voy a cantar una canción de cuna para que te duermas. I will sing you a lullaby so that you go to sleep. Cestear. To take a nap. Ces to take a nap. Si el bebé no toma su siesta, estará de mal humor. If the baby doesn't take a nap, he'll be in a bad mood. Comprar un asiento de coche. To buy a car seat. Comprar un asiento de coche. To buy a car seat. Debes de comprar un asiento de coche. You have to buy a car seat. For a baby, of course, they won't leave, let you leave the hospital. Well, here anyway, without a car seat for the baby. Dar de comer, to feed. Dar de comer, to feed. Que no se te olvide darle de comer a los niños. Don't forget to feed the children, please. Llevar un cochecito, to push a stroller. Llevar un cochecito to push a stroller. Vamos a llevar un cochecito mientras caminamos en el parque. We will push a stroller while we walk in the park. Leer un libro to read a book. Leer un libro to read a book. Quiero que me leas un libro antes de dormir. I want you to read me a book before going to sleep. That's something my daughter says all the time. Okay, that's all for this lesson. Which idea did you like the most? Leave a comment letting us know. See you next time. Hasta la próxima. I'm nine months pregnant. I just started my ninth month. So I'm almost there. Um, this is not my first child, but it feels like it because my daughter is nine. So that was a while ago. It went by really fast. It's, um, it's been fun so far. Yes, believe it or not. <laughs> um, I, I've enjoyed being pregnant, but now it's getting tiring because I'm almost there and my belly is quite large. Tengo nueve meses y ya casi es tiempo para, para ver a mi bebé. So I'm super excited to see my baby. Um, I think I've had like three colds in this pregnancy, which is, um, I guess it's common because your immune system is, um, suppressed when you're pregnant. So te vas a enfermar mucho más because like your immune system, it doesn't want to fight off the baby. So you can get sick really easily. So that's why it's important que te estés cuidando to take care of yourself, eating right and, you know, exercising if you can, if your doctor gives you that thumbs up. It's a girl. So this will be my second girl and I'm really excited. When a woman is pregnant with a boy, it takes a certain shape and mine is wrapped around, which is usually how when women are pregnant with girls. 
it's like really big. Yeah, I really recommend being pregnant. <laughs>